Today is May 4th, 2020. My name is Charles Souter. In the next three or four minutes, I'll be presenting to you a very simple but effectively and rapid therapy method called Accept, Commit, Take Action, or ACT-2 for short. If you want more information on this method, you can refer to Russ Harris's book, The Happiness Trap. I want to remind you that Yesterday I presented a similar therapy method called ACT. Its acronym stood for Accept, Choose, and Take Action, which I called ACT-1. The main difference between these two approaches is that ACT-1 is mainly applied after a, an event and you're feeling emotional distress. ACT-2 is something that you can apply in the midst of a situation where you're feeling emotional distress. The main message is accept emotional distress, commit to your values. Let me explain what this means. Step number one, mindfully accept the reality of your feelings. In fact, you'll notice that and the, the, to preface it, each of these steps, I'm using the word mindfully, mindfully, mindfully. Mindfully simply means you are now an observer of your situation. You've stepped out of your normal train of thinking, you're observing your thoughts and your actions and your feelings. So you mindfully accept the reality of your feelings. You're not going to struggle against them. In fact, you're going to acknowledge them and you're going to give them a name. Perhaps you're in a social situation and you're feeling a little bit adrift, a little bit diffident, maybe awkward, isolated and alone, and this gives rise to feelings of emotional distress. Give these feelings a name. What you're going to do is you're going to cease any struggle. You're not going to try to fight and try to overpower your emotional feelings because all the conditions necessary for your feelings to be present are there and you're not going to change them in the short term. So you might as well accept them. Don't, do not try to escape. Do not leave your social engagement immediately out of embarrassment. Do not uh, take to over drinking. This, these, these actions can only make things worse. Remain fully present, observant, and in control of yourself. You may not be able to control the situation, but you can at least control yourself. Choose not to act on rash impulses spurred by your feelings because they will, they will pass. In fact, just being aware of your emotionals, your emotional distress and you've given them a name. You've proven that you have mastery over your feelings. Step number two, mindfully commit to a value-focused approach as a guide to action. Let me explain what that means. First of all, consciously remind yourself of what values are important to you. Let's so say that um, being loving and caring and kindness are values that are important to you. Seek value fulfillment. What can you do with your being that would be in line with caring, kindness, and loving? Look for opportunities to display these values rather than focusing on goal fulfillment, which is the getting and the having. You can control your being, but you can't always control your getting and having. Fully engage with your situation. Connect with your values and to any immediate possibilities as to how you can engage your values. Step number three, mindfully take action to realize your values. You searched out some possibilities. You considered what can you do here and now to respond appropriately. And now you're going to take action. You're going to continue making mindful, which will be obvious actions to you, to realize your values. So now you're acting on your values and you are focused on what you can do in your situation, given your situation. Just to remind you of the main message of Act 2, mindfully accept your reality, commit to your values, and start making choices based upon those values. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier and live longer.